Uh, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a graph rag application using Langchain and Single Store uh, in a step by step way. So, if you have already heard about rag retrieval aug augmented generation, you're gonna love this. Uh, so, we are taking one step further here uh, by adding knowledge graphs to make the system more accurate, explainable, and powerful. Uh, so let's uh, understand uh, what exactly is graph rack, right? So it's like rack retrieval augmented generation, but with superpowers. Uh, instead of just doing a vector search based on text similarity, graph rack uh, basically expands your query using a knowledge graph. So which understands relationships between concepts, people, ideas, and so on. So uh, that means better recall, more precise answers, uh, contextually relevant answers, and multi-hop reasoning capabilities. Uh, so here is a tech uh, tech stack that I'm going to use in my tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show it at the end, the tutorial. So we're going to use single store as our vector database and uh, optional graph store. And uh, Langchain, as you all know, is a open source uh, LLM framework. So we're going to use that to manage our graph uh, rag pipeline and orchestrate tools. And uh, we're going to use network X to create an in-memory knowledge graph. And uh, we're going to use OpenAI's model to generate the final answer for from retrieved context. So these are the four things we're going to use. And uh, uh, that's the architecture we're going to follow. And uh, uh, one good thing about single stories, it has inbuilt uh, a notebook uh, environment where you can run all the code, right? Uh, I will show you how to do that. So. The first thing is to set up the environment. I mean, like pip install, langchain, uh, single store, open AI, and network X. Uh, that, that's what we need. And then uh, second step is to insta insert the documents, right? Uh, so we add over like around 100 sample documents, knowledge documents to single store using langchain's document model. And then the third step basically is to build a knowledge graph. So now we added all the content. Now we need to build a knowledge graph. So we use network X to define relationships. For example, uh, like Einstein developed relativity or photosynthesis depends on light. So we will create some kind of uh, uh, relationships uh, inside the sentences for the sentences for more accurate uh, responses, right? And then uh, the fourth step is to define graph rag logic. So we basically we're going to expand queries using the graph and combine that with vector search from single store. And finally, what we, we're going to do is like we use a Langchain's retrieval QA with OpenAI to generate natural language answers, contextually relevant answers we're going to get. And uh, yeah, basically why a graph rag is better, it's, it's because compared to a traditional rag, uh, graph rag brings structure, multi-hop reasoning, and better control over context. Uh, so it's perfect for use cases in like healthcare, legal, finance, or anytime you need smarter and contextually relevant uh, responses back. So that's it. We're going to see um, how to build a perfect graph rag uh, using single store Langchain um, in the next part of this video. Uh, hey guys, so here is the complete notebook code uh, of graph rag using single store and Langchain. Uh, so uh, the first thing you need to do is create single store account. Go to singlestore.com and uh, once you go to singlestore.com, uh, sign up. Uh, single store has a free share tier uh, that you can use until you finish your credits. Uh, so uh, once you sign up and sign in, this is where you will land. And the first thing you need to do is uh, once you land on single store uh, dashboard, create a workspace for yourself. And then, uh, and then create a database attached to your workspace. Right. So I have already created my uh, workspace and then attached a database to that. Uh, so my database name is um, uh, let me see my database. Yeah, Rajant. And then this is my workspace, uh, Power Happy workspace. So once you create both a workspace and a database. Uh, let's go to a data studio. Like I said, um, single store has this feature of in-house uh, notebook capability. So you can create your own notebook. So give it a name, create your notebook. And then I have already created my notebook. Uh, my notebook code is all present here. So I'm going to explain uh, this in a step-by-step -step way. So 
this is about graph frag using uh, single student lang chain and uh, uh, you need to make sure that uh, once you go to your notebook uh, environment select your workspace and then select your database that you created and then let's start coding. Uh, so graph rag is more structured and context aware enhancement of traditional rag. We saw more about graph rag already. Uh, why traditional rag is outdated and why you need graph rag because you know uh, traditional rag basically how it works it embeds user query using a language model and does a vector similarity search or in a document store like uh, files or single store and retrieves top k documents and send, sends them to an LLM to generate an answer, which is which is kind of very normal. I mean, like nothing advanced here. Right? And what are the limitations though in traditional RAG? So it lacks deeper semantic understanding beyond text similarity, right? And can miss important context if entities are phrased differently, right? And retrieval is often very shallow. Uh, no notion of relationships between concepts and doesn't scale well for complex or multi-hop questions. And that is where uh, graph rag comes in with enhanced um, approach uh, that adds, uh, that introduces a knowledge graph basically to basically understand the relationship between the entities. And uh, before retrieval, it expands the user query using graph traversal and uh, it retrieves more relevant uh, and uh, diverse documents with better context. Right. For example, like we saw at right, the query, uh, what theory did Einstein uh, contribute that relates to gravity? So traditional rag might uh, retrieve documents on Einstein or gravity, but not both. But what happens if you use graph rag? It basically uh, connects uh, all the things together. It, it pulls all relevant nodes uh, connected to the query and uh, that results in a precise multi-hop uh, answering and more precise uh, responses, right? So that's the importance of uh, graph rag. And uh, we also saw the architecture of our graph rag. We're gonna use LangChain, single store, and then uh, OpenAI uh, LLM model. So first things first, let's install the required packages. We're gonna install LangChain, single store, OpenAI, uh, and then NetworkX for creating uh, the knowledge graph. And then we we'll initialize the uh, single store vector store. Uh, we're gonna add open API key. We're gonna add single store host URL, uh, single store DP. You need to have your username ready, password, host URL, port uh, 3306, that's default and the database name. So you can add this database name there, Ragin, and according to what you have created your database. And then um, we need to create a table, uh, right? Um, my table name is rag docs. You can create your own. Uh, and then let's insert documents into our vector DB. So this is how we are inser inserting a CSV data, right? I have inserted a lot of documents, a uh, lot of content, uh, and then um, everything is inserted, getting got converted into embeddings. And as you can see, successfully added documents to single store vector store. And uh, the next step is to create a simple knowledge graph. We added all this data, but uh, we need to now create a relationship between the data, right, between the entities. So that's where we're gonna use uh, Graph uh, Network X. Um, and uh, that's how we are creating uh, uh, basically the relationship between the entities, knowledge graphs. And uh, this is a simple example, right? Uh, genetics, DNA, uh, uh, black hole, gravity, Isaac Newton, Einstein, relativity, light, photosynthesis, chat GPT, neural network, machine learning. So if you see the similar type of uh, uh, concepts or the words are grouped together. So that's how basically knowledge graphs are created. Uh, this is just an example. Uh, and then uh, next is to uh, create a graph traversal function for query expansion. Uh, we need to expand the query and that's how we get relevant responses in the graph, right? right? Um, so combine graph plus vector retrieval uh, for enhanced uh, responses and then generate answers using RAG. So if you ask a query, right, what did Isaac Newton discover? Uh, so it will answer, right, Isaac Newton discovered the laws of motion and universal gravitation. And uh, we can try more queries like that. Uh, Isaac Newton, uh, what did Isaac Newton discover? Black hole, what is the relationship between gravity and black holes and 
yeah i mean i have used all these queries and if you run this uh, you will get proper answers uh, answers responses back right as hack newton discovered the laws of motion and universal gra gravitation uh, what is the relationship between gravity and black holes uh, right so as you can see the expanded query is black hole gravity right? you can also see the expanded query there and also the proper uh, contextually relevant contextually relevant response back the relationship between gravity and black holes is that black holes are formed when the gravitational pull is so strong blah 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 and all that how does photosynthesis export depend on light and you can see the again expanded query uh, photosynthesis light and the proper answer back so that's how you can basically create a graph rag um, graph rag using single store and lang chain I hope you understood and I also wanted to show you how the uh, data is, is stored in our database. So we used ragint and um, the rag docs was our table name. If you go sample data, uh, as you can see uh, the ID, the content, and then the, yeah, the data getting stored in a uh, embedding format, right? So that's how, and even the metadata, that's how the, uh, data in the vector format embedding vector embedding format is stored in our database so yeah i mean hope uh, you understood um, how uh, to build graph rag using single store and lang chain uh, maybe let me show how the data is stored because i opened the other uh, tab there so this is our database ragint and rag docs was the table we created and sample data this was what i was this is what i was showing like id content uh, and the data has been stored in the form of vector embeddings all right and the metadata so i hope you understood uh, the whole concept of uh, graph rag and how to